Just letting you know, this is only my spoiler first impressions of the episode. Check my pinned comment for a free gift related to this video. And to watch my unfiltered reactions with exclusive bonuses, join my Asha Media TV Club. The link is in the description box below. Now, here's my afterthoughts of this episode of Supernatural. Okay, um, fantastic, brilliant, amazing, wonderful, every single synonym to all those words I just mentioned. This was everything. And not only was there subtext, there was like subtext within subtext within subtext. And then there's also, of course, the meta aspect of watching Dean and Sam as characters hear that song that we as viewers associate to the show, but it's their first time seeing the gravity and the weight on an emotional level that that song carries with their entire adventure, with everything to do with Supernatural. And that's the best way I can simplify it. And I look forward to some of you who are so good at articulating your points really well, how you break it down, you know, tell me in the best way you can, what's your love letter to this episode if you really, really love it? And if you don't, because I could see this episode being somewhat, it's the best way to put it without, uh, I don't want to be insulting, you know, but I, I could see that type of viewer that is very much a gatekeeper and a purist all the way perhaps, and having it dramatized from these girls' point of view, I could see where to them it's almost like blasphemous in a sense. Maybe I'm completely wrong. For those of you that know the fandom, if this is like 99.9% .9 loved, great, great. And that tiny percentage that hate it for whatever reason, because they just don't like musical theater, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. The Chuck part, now that I know who Chuck is, it makes it all the more poignant. And please don't rub it in. My, you know, don't try to guilt trip me again in the fact that I self-spoiled that. It is what it is. But you know what? It actually still adds weight. Because now that I know that that's God showing up at the end with his stamp of approval of the whole story... It actually leads to more questions now. Is he going to reveal himself to the Winchesters? I have kind of wacky theoried it, and I think I've said it before, so this shouldn't be the first time you're hearing this, unless you didn't watch that reaction video, but um I've always said, you know, because this series runs for 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, 15 seasons, <laughs> 15 seasons, it makes sense that the final season would be when God shows up, right? It would be, it would make sense. So I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, I got to make it to season 15 to see Chuck again. Then, then it's like, you know, hey, boys, <laughs> how'd you like my story? You know, kind of thing. Anyway, okay. I got Chuck covered, the musical theater. It's so wonderful. The vocals are great. Now, although I have some experience in performing arts, I'll be honest that when it comes to theater aspects of stuff, it was never a strong point for me. I'm more of a film. I like film stuff, right? I, I'm more into filmography than I am theater. I don't mind the occasional theater shows here and there, but it's just not a passion for me. So putting that out there for some of you that are aware of my background in that, it, it's uh, so anything that's meta related to musical theater, like I really wouldn't pick up on. Um, ex unless it's fully mainstream, like Rent, I know of it, but I've never seen the play, don't really care to. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, of course, you know, that's a given, but it did become a movie, and that's actually what I became interested in. It. <laughs> yes, believe it or not. And I have seen The Phantom of the Opera when it came here to my hometown, and I did not enjoy it. I hated it. I hated it. I actually prefer the movie. And I know that's probably blasphemous to those of you that are hardcore musical theater. Don't hate me, don't hate me, okay? But it's the truth. I'm not gonna lie about it. Okay, um, I am feeling a little bit of the pressure to kind of get time going through. So I think I've said enough. My reaction speaks volumes because I think it's the most I've laughed uh, and and with outbursts. And understandably, this, this episode deserved every single one of it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.